Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in an upcoming update for the Viper, we're going to be adding two new sub-modes for the position mode of the AGM-88C Harm anti-radiation missile. Now, in an earlier video, we took a look at the RUK, or Range Unknown, sub-mode for position. And to review, this allowed us to uh, send a Harm down range to a specified steer point, and then the Harm would search for a designated radar type within a 20 mile uh, radius of that steer point. And this is a really handy uh, feature to allow us to uh, go after SAMs when we don't exactly know where they are. Now, with the two sub-modes we're going to be talking about today, the first is Equation of Motion, or EOM, and the second is Pre-Briefed, PB. Uh, these have a much smaller search area around the steer points, and this allows uh, much better kinematics of the missile flight as well as uh, more advanced lofting options. So, let's get started. First, we'll go to the air to ground master mode, naturally. See, we have uh, two AGM-88s here on the SMIS. Let's go ahead and power those on. And I like to bring up the HSD. Uh, here at steer point one, indicated, that's also the speed, the SPI, indicated by the white cross. We have an SA-10 that we'll be going after. On the left side, Let's bring up the weapon page, and we can see that it defaults to the HAS mode, which we talked about in an earlier video. Let's press that OSB, and we'll bring up position mode. Right now we're in EOM, Equation of Motion. We select again, we go to RUK, and one more time, pre-briefed. And that's the first one we're going to take a look at. Now, just like RUK, we need to specify what type of radar the harm is going to be looking for, and we have three different tables to do that. Uh, table 1 here. Table 2 and Table 3. So because we're going after an SA-10, we're going to be on Table 1. I have the uh, 10 selected, that's the flap lid engagement radar. And below that we have a Big Bird 3D radar and a clamshell low altitude acquisition radar. But first we're going to go after that flap lid. And also just like the RUK mode, we have a green line in the center. Everything below that green line is pre-launch data and everything above it is post-launch data. So in this case, uh, we are going after SA-10 flap lid at steer point one, the one below it. Uh, below that is our estimated time of flight to that steer point. And finally, below that is our estimated time of impact. Up on the HUD, we have our ASM steering line, or ASL, and our steer point indicator. So these will line up to make sure that we're uh, flying to that target. And along the ASL, we have three different indicators. Uh, here at the bottom, we have a small line. That's our minimum loft angle. Uh, in the middle, we have two inward pointing carrots. That's our optimal loft angle. And then right above, kind of hard to see, is a larger uh, horizontal line. And that's our maximum loft angle. Along the uh, DLZ here, we have A21. And that's our uh, best loft angle which matches the carrots here. So 21 degrees is our best loft angle to uh, take that shot. Uh, at the very bottom we have 252, and that actually stands for 25,200 feet. And that would be the estimated altitude we would be at when we launch the missile based on the uh, prescribed loft angle. And of course, down here at the bottom we have the range to that steer point. Let's go ahead and pause. off the autopilot and of course uh, just like uh, any harm shot we need to have that radar radiating for the uh, harm to home in on but what we can do in this case we could actually launch that missile before the radar even comes online so we get a little, little of a, a drop shot on them. so wait till about uh, 24 miles loft angle about 17 degrees okay pitching up 16 degrees and magnum okay now hopefully the SSA-10 will light us up and there it goes so the key now is to allow that radar to keep looking at it so the harm can uh, home in on it we don't want to completely break its lock and have it shut down. Uh, no launch indication so far. Oh, there it goes. I'm going to pause here for a second. 
Now above the green line, again, we have the uh, post-launch information. So at the top, we have the estimated time to impact. So the missile should reach that steer point area in 20 seconds. Uh, below that, again, we launch that missile to steer point one. And below that, again, uh, it's the target type, an SA-10 uh, flap lid. Pause. So 15 seconds. Nine. Okay, timeout. Yep, and it hit. So uh, flat lid is offline, and that was a good shot. So the next one we're going to look at is uh, EOM, or equation of motion. Let's bring up that. And it's going to pause it for a second. And the changes we have here is uh, one, we do not have a prescribed loft angle. We just have minimum and maximum, kind of hard to see here. Uh, below that, we have our off angle indication. So right right now, we're right 60, 66 degrees uh, off the ASL, or we could be left. And the really cool thing about the EOM is we could technically, if even we had the target behind us, we could actually shoot and the missile would fly around uh, 180 degrees and hit a target behind us. But of course, as you might imagine, that's gonna take a lot of energy from that missile. So to successfully make that shot, you have to be pretty darn close to it. So I'm pause. So right now we're in range. Let's go ahead and select the big bird. So we have BB at stir point one, Magnum. So it comes off. Now it's going to steer all the way around about 90 degrees and go after that big bird uh, 3D acquisition radar. And again, we have our time 15 seconds at steer point one and going after a big bird. Let's take a look. And that should be offline. And now it's offline. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this uh, look at these two new sub modes for the harm. And I will see you next time. Thanks.